Today we're going to have a look at how you can pack your dress shirts. This is going to work for all your collared shirts. We're going to have a look at how to prevent wrinkles primarily, but I'll also show you a way that you can save space doing this um, at the end here. So before we start folding here, you want to lay it out down your shirt and make sure that all the buttons are nicely buttoned up. And of course, when we're going to prevent wrinkles, you want to make sure that your shirt isn't wrinkly to begin with. And from here, we're going to turn the shirt around with the back facing up. So I like to start out by just evening everything out, making sure that it's nicely stretched out in all corners. And then from here, we're gonna start folding. So the first thing that we want to do is to take the arms, and you can either fold them over to the other side, or you can fold them down in a cross like this. Um, let's just do the cross, uh, that is the most popular way to do it, and uh, not necessarily the best though. So like this, you wanna make sure that you get them as far away from the edges as possible here, ideally. And then from here, what we're going to do is that we're going to split the shirt into either three parts from side to side or four parts. This is going to depend a little bit on how big your shirt is. Um, let's just do one fourth for the video, but you could definitely do one third as well. Then we'll get the smaller and taller fold. But let's do one fourth of the way from one end like this. Make sure you do it on the other side as well so that they nicely meet in the middle here. Like that. And then we're going to start from the bottom and we're going to fold up towards the top. So I like to split it into three parts. I think that makes a nice shape for my uh, suitcase. So slightly less than one third to begin with, like that. And then we can fold from the top down the second fold, like this. And here you can see we have a perfectly folded shirt. Um, one little hack, I suppose, that you can do uh, is to stiffen off the collar here by using something like a belt. Uh, if you have a dress belt that goes with your... Um, with your um, suit that could be ideal for this so you have the set so i'm just gonna spool it up here there are many ways that you can spool up the belts i've done videos on that in the past as well but the idea here is that we're going to put the belt inside the collar here like this and this you can kind of adjust it so that it's um has a slight bit of pressure there and this is really going to help stiffen off that collar uh, when you have it in your suitcase of course uh a suit bag is always going to be best, but I mean, you can't always <laughs> lug around suit bags. Um, so this is definitely a great way to do it. It does slightly uh, crease at the folds, especially if you pack pretty heavily. So I want to show you an alternative that has been my favorite way to pack uh, these uh, shirts. It's um, it's not as friendly to the collar, but it's definitely more friendly towards the rest of the shirt. So what you want to do then is again, with this, uh, all the buttons buttoned up and the front side facing up, we're gonna pinch the top point and the bottom point of the shirt, or lift it up like this. Just shake it so it's nice and even on both sides. And we're gonna lay it down on one of the sides like this. From here, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take both the arms. You can do both at the same time, or you can do one and one to line them up nicely there. Uh, if you have a short sleeve shirt, you can just fold them over like this. But this is a long sleeve one, so I'm gonna fold them down. Uh, you wanna make sure that you get them as far down as possible. So like this. And as you can see, it does kind of um, crease the collar here, but the rest of the shirt is gonna be really nice and uh, uncreased. The next step here is that we're gonna start rolling up the shirt. And we wanna roll it gently here from the bottom all the way up towards the top, like this. And you can let it rest on uh, the collar like this, or you can leave the collar facing up like that. Um, for this, it, it will unravel uh, <laughs> if it's rattling around in your case. So what I like to do is to just take simple elastic at some small point of the shirt here, make sure it's not very tight, and just keep it um, holding together there seems to help a lot with that. So this goes excellently in packing cubes. So if you're somebody who, for example, you're traveling with packing cubes and you just need to have a shirt, you don't, for example, need uh, an entire suit with you, then you can roll up the remainder of your clothes as well, like this, as you can see. Uh, by the way, these are all my favorite uh, packing hacks, I suppose. I put together a little cheat sheet that you can download over on organizing.tv slash pack. Uh, if you want that, entirely free. Uh, anyway, so this suit, fits perfectly with the remainder of the system here uh, with packing cubes. So I'm just gonna lay the collar as gentle as possible here. And now you can see we can pack up the packing cube like this. Um, of course, I don't recommend that you use 
the compression if you have that on packing cubes for shirts as that's really going to pack them together um I'm a little hesitant to say this, but I have one more way that I can show you <laughs> to fold up shirts. But this way is going to crease up your shirts. But I figure some of you may need this at some point, so it's better to know it. Um, so let's have a look at the most basic way you can fold your collared shirts. Keep in mind this is going to crease up your collared shirts. So um, maybe just do it on something like a flannel or something, or something that you can steam in your hotel room afterwards. That's a great hack, by the way. Uh, if you fold them up and they have some creases on them when you arrive at your destination, what you can do is turn on the shower really hot and, that's, and put your shirt inside that room. Um, not in the shower, obviously, so it, it shouldn't be wet, but it should have steam in the room. Uh, and that way you can go in there after a couple of minutes and just stretch out uh, the shirt and that way you're going to remove all the creases uh, anyway. So let's have a look at the, this way. Again, uh, be very uh, uh, selective when you, which shirts you do this on. So uh, for this uh, super space saving uh, <laughs> dress shirt fold that is going to crease up your shirt. What you want to do first of all is lay it down with the front facing up and button up all the buttons. And then from here, we're gonna take the bottom of the shirt and we're gonna flip it underneath the rest of the shirt like this. Um, you will need a little bit of space for this, probably like six inches, six, seven inches. And you fold it back down. So now I have the bottom of the shirt folded underneath itself. And then from here, we're gonna take the arms and I'm gonna fold them over to the opposite side. So like that, and the second one overlaps the first arm. And then from here, we're gonna split the shirt into four parts from uh, side to side. So we fold in one fourth on one side and one fourth on the opposite side as well so that they meet in the middle here. Now, here comes the creasing up of the shirt part. I'm going to turn the shirt around and I'm going to start rolling it from the collar. So definitely don't do this with your nice shirts uh, and be very selective with which shirts you do this on. The tighter you roll, the more you're going to crease it up, but you're also going to save uh, more space. Once you make it to the top here, I'm going to lift it up and we're going to flip uh, that section that we folded underneath over the remainder of the shirt and this is going to help compress it e down even further and lock it into place so that it's not going anywhere um, as you can see this is super compact but again it's um, it, your shirt is going to be creased when you unroll it uh, like this but this is pretty awesome because uh, just like the previous fold that I showed you that is a lot more crease uh, resistant this actually does fit in uh, it's the same size, about just a lot thinner than uh, the previous fold, but it does fit into the folding system here, like that, so that you can have it with the remainder of your uh, folded up clothes. Um, there is no point to compressing it, you can compress it down even further if you want to with a compressing packing cube. Up to you. <laughs> By the way, check out the rest of these folds uh, in a cheat sheet, it's super cool and entirely free. Should probably help you compress your luggage down to about half if you implement all the tricks in there. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I'm gonna add a link to that uh, cheat sheet right here. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.